I've managed to catch up with David Law, the media director for the Aegon Championships. David, uh, great to be here. This is where it all happens. There's a, a hub of activity in here. Well, th there was a moment ago. Uh, tell us exactly what happens this week for you and your team. Well, the world's media arrive from the French Open straight from a Grand Slam tournament, and this is their first opportunity to cover the sport on grass and everybody's looking ahead to Wimbledon. This is a big tournament in its own right, so we have a couple of hundred media accredited throughout the week, BBC television, Eurosport, everybody's in town to cover Andy Murray and all the other big name players as they get ready for the grass court season and Wimbledon as well. So it's loads of interviews, press conferences, Wimbledon previews, very exciting time of the year for the world of tennis. And what are the facilities like here for the media? It's nothing like anywhere else in the world, really. Not only is it, are they good facilities, it's very unusual because this is a proper tennis club. The rest of the year, the Queen's Club has members. It has squash courts that we use for our press room here that we convert into a press conference room and into media work rooms. We've got an international room for the Australian media and the American media when they come over. The same for the British journalists as well. We really have to make use of every little nook and cranny of this Queen's Club in order to turn it into an international tennis event. You can't just have as much room as you want. You've got to make use of it. And how important is it to have a good relationship with the players as well? It's huge, particularly for our tournament director, Chris Commode, who works with them throughout the year. He starts his process of trying to get players to come and play here as early as September of the previous year. He'll go out to New York and arrange for players such as Leighton Hewitt, who's been coming here for 15 years to, to enter the tournament. And that's why we get such a great field. For us, it's hugely important because we want them to do as many interviews as they'll possibly do. So the better we get on with them, the more likely they are to do what we say. It sounds like you're constantly busy. How, how stressful is it for you? It's a plate spinning operation. You know, you're constantly juggling, you're constantly doing two or three different things all at once, but that is what makes it fun. You know, you, you may have a, a player to go and get for an interview on court number one, just as a match on centre court's finishing, and you've got to get the two players to Eurosport and the BBC. Then you've got to get the winner to a press conference, and then another match is about to start. That's, that's the fun of it. You are constantly working. Thank you so much, David, for taking the time out to speak to us. I think I'm going to make you a cup of tea now and you can, you can watch the tennis. I'll speak to you later.